In this RC4 demonstration video, I'm showing how to use the new HSL features of RC4 Magic Series 3 dimmers to color correct and color match completely different LED RGB products. So I have two different things here. One is a manufactured, very nicely color corrected LED panel from Lightgear. It's excellent choice as a reference for color, beautifully made product, really bright, I really like it. And I have behind here, an LED product that is a low cost consumer, somewhat lower output, somewhat easy to find on the internet, everybody sells it, it's a reel of LED tape. Great when you're on a budget, not bad looking, but as we'll see in a moment, color correction is a different story. So let's see if we can make the two look the same. And we wanna do that because, you know, maybe we've used red, green, and blue LEDs in a prop, we bought the parts from a, a component supplier, it was the necessary way to make the effect and now we want to use HSL color modeling and ensure that it's gonna look the same as other LED devices in the same scene. So let's do that matching now. I have two devices here. They are both Series 3 DMX4 dims. They're both using the first three channels for red, green, and blue. And our reference I have here, here's red. That is our red on the reference product. This is our red on the consumer product. Here is green on our reference green on the consumer product, blue on the reference, blue on the consumer product. Looking at these, um, look at, looking at these reference colors, comparing these colors uh, as primaries, they look very much the same. I would say they're probably the same color frequency, color temperature for each color. But if I bring all channels on full, we see a vastly different white. I hope this shows up on camera, but if not, I will tell you this one you know, as like your claims, it's a beautifully balanced white. We know what the color temperature of it is. They've worked on that. This is another story. We have some sort of a weird aqua, aqua bluish green. I'm sure no one has any idea what that really is. But what we need to do, because we've made a prop using products like this, we need to match it to that. So how are we gonna do that? I'm gonna start by just fiddling with red, green, and blue color values and make this white look as much like that white as I can. So here I go. I can see right away there's too much bluish green. It's obvious. So I'm leaving red as it is, and I am gonna pull out the other two until entirely by eye, I wanna be kind of in the same range as what I'm seeing in my reference like your product. And that looks, that looks pretty close to me. I have dropped, I've kept red at full. I've dropped a green down to 169 out of 255. I've dropped blue down to 153 out of 255. And now those are, those are my reference numbers. I'm gonna write those down. So we have 255, 169, and 153. Now I'm gonna put both of these devices into HSL mode. So I go over to advanced settings. I select one device at a time. Right now I'm on device two. I will go to HSL mode and I'll send the settings to that dimmer. There we go. We'll just read that back and make sure it was a success. We have that device on HSL. Now I'm gonna flip up to unit number three. We can see that right now it's in straight dim mode. We're gonna change it to HSL mode and send those settings. So now they're both in HSL. And unit number two, going back down to two, this is the one that I wanna do some color correction. So we'll see in this area on the screen, series three HSL color balance, I can enter the numbers now that I found previously with my experimentation. So for green, I'm going with 169, for blue, I'm going with 153. Send those to the dimmer. Now remember, the dimmer now remembers these forever. This isn't something I have to have in the computer and I can now control from my main console, I will get the same effect. So we'll go back to the virtual TX, we'll turn all the channels off. They're in HSL mode, so I'm going to go to maximum level with the minimum saturation and we see we now have the same color corrected values that we had before. Now what we hope is that we've now got the entire color spectrum matched. So let's find, let's go to maximum saturation on both devices and pick a color. You know, in the blues and purples, our eye is very sensitive in there. Down in, in this range of colors, little variations appear really, really um, visibly to the human eye. So I'm gonna go with that value. It's a DMX value of 200 out of 255 for hue. So it's a hue of 200. And I'm going to pick that same value on the reference. And look at that. We have two purples that are nearly identical. So we've taken a product that was not color balanced at all, 
and made it look almost exactly the same as the color balance product. You have not seen that in a wireless dimmer ever before.